Hi everyone, Jeff McAndrew here from Generac. Uh, thank you for joining the Solgen CEO Roundtable last week. Uh, during that conversation, I was fortunate enough to pop on for about half an hour and talk about how my most successful partners are pitching energy storage. And uh, I wanted to give you uh, basically a recording of what that pitch looks like. The first thing that I mentioned before getting into the pitch was that the reps absolutely need to understand their market specifically what drivers there are in that market, what incentives there are, what utility programs there might be, uh, what is the history of power outages within that utility? Are they frequent? Uh, how long do they generally last? When do they happen? So, uh, so what we need to do is really take a look at basically what is the value to the homeowner of, of having energy storage in that specific market? And this is an example of a pitch that we've seen given to installers in a place like Northern California. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, based on our software-based analysis, we're expecting you to save about $50,000 over the next 30 years with this Generac PowerCell PV system. Now, we have a lot of homeowners that are reinvesting about $10,000 of that into an entry-level energy storage system, which can save you up to $600 a year by powering your home when electricity rates are high. So from 3 to 8 p.m. in PG&E territory. But more importantly, that energy storage unit will actually protect your home in the event of a grid outage. So the PowerCell 9, which we've quoted here, will keep your lights, bridge, outlets, and well pump running. And if you need to back up more of your home or you want to have longer duration backup protection, you can actually double the battery capacity in a single cabinet at a later date. It's easy to do and it's also pretty cost effective. I should mention the reason that we partner with Generac is because they're a rock solid US based company who's been in business for over 60 years, but also, I mean, just generally they have more experience backing up residential properties than any of the other competitors in the space. They're backing up over 2.2 million homes across North America. And with that, they offer 24 seven 365 customer support to those homeowners from a technology perspective. Generac gives homeowners a fully integrated modular platform that operates more efficiently with a battery than really any alternative, um, which is important because you're gonna be cycling your battery daily. In terms of backup power, if you had an apples to apples PV and Tesla system, the power cell would actually back up your house for longer in the same conditions because number one, it charges and discharges the battery more efficiently. Number two, it can charge the battery from excess DC solar instead of clipping it. And number three, it never shuts off the PV array in the event of a grid outage. We see in common daytime scenarios, a Tesla Powerwall could actually shut off a PV inverter if more solar energy is being produced and can be consumed by the house or sent to charge the battery. Whereas in the case of the power cell, the, the optimization on the roof will actually just produce what's needed to back up the house while keeping your battery full. Additionally, the Tesla needs to be installed in about 13.5 kilowatt hour increments so if you want to expand, you're looking at a, you know, a ten dollars to $14,000 investment, depending on your market. Whereas with PowerCell, you can update, uh, excuse me, you can upgrade the battery capacity by almost three kilowatt hour increments. So it's much more cost effective if the homeowner only needs a little bit more capacity, not necessarily a, a, whole, a whole additional 13.5 kilowatt hours. From a roadmap, pers uh, roadmap perspective, uh, Generac will soon have generator integration into existing power cell systems. So if you really want redundancy, you could use a generator as a last line of defense to recharge your batteries. Uh, lastly, Generac offers a single user interface for you to monitor your solar and energy storage system, keep tabs on where you are in relation to your utility bill. Um, and right now we have all of these components in stock. You could start saving money in about four weeks. Uh, we just need a signature to reserve your place in our installation schedule. So guys, that's how we're seeing a lot of pitches uh, happen with the power cell and energy storage platforms in general. Use the PV system to pay for the energy storage unit. Show homeowners that you're still saving them $50,000 by installing your PV system, and then talk to them about how they can reinvest about $10,000, $15,000 of those savings into an energy storage system that's gonna essentially protect their house from, from power outages. Uh, or additionally, in markets like California, it is, you know, we're going we're gonna to allow you to power your home from this, this power plant um, when, when rates are high and then still give you backup power when the grid goes down or when PG&E shuts off power to, 
to, to you and your neighbors. Uh, in markets like Massachusetts, the pitch could be more like, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, uh, a lot of other homeowners in this market are adopting energy storage because the utility will actually pay you for battery capacity. And uh, they only do that when uh, they only do that in, in the event of, of good weather, right? So they're never going to tap into your battery if there's a risk of an outage. And they'll actually pay you for battery capacity today. Um, depending on what battery you buy, it could actually pay off your battery over the course of five years. And, and you'll still be able to use that battery for backup power when you need it most. So every market is different. Some homeowners are going to buy this platform for backup power. Some are going to buy it because it's cool. Some are going to buy it because they want to save money on their utility bill over the next 10 years. Um, find out exactly what incentives there are in your markets. Uh, find all of the value proposition in terms of how a battery is going to help them. Backup power is, is relevant in every market. So it's backup power, time of use savings, demand charges in Arizona, utility programs in New England. Find the reasons why homeowners should consider energy storage, show them how they're gonna pay for it, and then seal the deal. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, good, to, uh, good to connect again, and we'll be in touch soon.